So in this video, I'm going to be making a tier list of the most legendary skins in CSGO. I've got a list of 15 of the most famous skins in the game, and we are going to be ranking them from S tier to you'd have to be an idiot to buy this tier. I haven't seen anyone else do one of these yet, so I'm going to be giving it a go. People are already upset with me about some of my picks before the video is even out, so this should be great. Now, this video is sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. Skinport has a huge range of skins, over 220,000 of them at prices miles cheaper than the Steam market, up to 35% off. You can purchase skins in an instant, just pick what you want and straight up buy it. There is no need to deposit and there are no hidden fees. There's also a high definition screenshot feature built into the site itself so you can see exactly what you're getting before you buy. The site is also super highly rated on Trustpilot with a 4.9 out of 5 star rating. It's completely safe and reliable to use so I highly recommend checking it out. Link is in the description. So our first skin is the glitched No Star Crambit. This is a bugged item made by Steam Sport back in 2013. It's got a wear value of zero, which should be impossible, and it's also got No Star in its title, which should also be impossible. And it's been hidden away in this guy's inventory for many years now. I don't think he's planning on selling it anytime soon, but if he did, it would probably be worth about $30,000, although obviously no one really knows for sure. And for me, this one is a C tier. It is unique, but it's also kind of just default crambit. It's not something that stands out if you use it in game, and that really keeps it out of the higher tiers for me. So the second skin is the best condition skin in the game, the non-glitched best condition skin, which is this M249 Gator Mesh. It is number one by a pretty decent margin, and it's kept that spot for a lot of years now. It was owned by a guy called Soxy who kept it hidden away for ages, although he did eventually sell it to Dennis Davis, and Dennis is currently trying to sell it for $33,000. I don't think that price is too serious though, but you are probably looking at more like the $3,000 mark. And for me, this thing is another C tier. I, I mean, it's cool that it's number one, but it is also just an M249. You can't flex on people with this thing. So the next skin is the glitched Nova Predator. Basically the way this skin works is that it's not meant to have a wear value below 0.06, but due to a quirk in the way wear values work, this one has a wear value of 0.059999. So, you know, obviously that's not quite right. Now, this one is a D tier for me, and not just because it's a dingy looking Nova, but it's not even a one of a kind skin anymore. There is a Nova Polar Mesh with the exact same bug. It's owned by a collector called Path, who, no joke, paid $2,420.69 for it. Otherwise, I might have made it a C tier, but that definitely bumps it down to a D tier for me. Now, the fourth skin is the Glitch Cato 2014 Souvenir Bone Mask. Basically, this is a bug skin that shouldn't be able to be unboxed from souvenir packages, but turns out it can. It was only unboxed earlier this year too. Whoever did it is an idiot though. Cato 14 packages are the worst thing in the game to open. This one is also owned by Path too as well. He paid $7,500 for it. And to me, this thing is a D tier. Why? Well, because there's seven more of these things from the DreamHack Winner 2013 Major. So it's not really that unique. And that's why I have to put it down in the D tier. So next up, we have the Times 4 Titan Hollow Stat Track Minimal Wear Scar Padded AK Case Hardened. And if that made no sense to you, basically this is the best AK in the game with four of the best stickers on it in the game. This thing is just crazy, like no joke, it is valued at about $500,000 at the moment, although I would recommend taking that with a little bit of salt. And it would be an easy S tier for me, except there's two of them. Well, actually there's three of them. It's just one of them is back band. And because of that, I'm actually gonna make this A tier instead. It's a really good A tier, but still not quite an S tier for me. So the next skin is the lowest float stat track M4A4 how with four Ivo Power hollows on it. It's a bit like the last skin. It's the literal best M4A4 skin in the game with four of the second best sticker in the game on it. It hasn't been sold for a while now, but if it was, you'd be looking at about $200,000 for it. And this is another A tier for me for pretty much the same reasons as the AK2. There are multiple other stat track factory new house out there with four upper hell hollows on them. So even though it's an awesome skin, I still can't quite put it in the S tier. 
Now, the seventh skin is the Stat Track Factory New 690 Pattern 5.7 case hardened with four Titan Hollows on it. This is essentially the best 5.7 blue gem with four of the best sticker in the game on it. And it's an interesting skin because it's the sort of thing that used to be on everyone's top 10 list. But these days, everyone seems to have just forgotten about this skin, which is a bit of a problem when you're being ranked on tier lists. Like on paper, this skin has a lot of things going for it. It's like the pistol version of that AK scar pattern. But if people have just stopped being interested in this skin, which they kind of have, it can't really be ranked that high. So I'm going to be giving this one a C tier. Now, next up, we've got the McSkillet pattern case harden. And you might be wondering, why is this skin here? What's so special about it? And the answer is, well, nothing. What you see is what you get. It is just a Huntsman case harden. But for whatever reason, it has become super infamous. Like there's only really a couple of case harden patterns that have actual names. And this is one of them, which is why I've had to include it on the list. Now, would I say if you bought this, you're an idiot? No, I wouldn't. I mean, you can get one for less than $3,000. It's not that expensive, but it is definitely D tier, which I feel is kind of fitting in more ways than one. So skin number nine is the Lunar Souvenir Glock Candy Apple Craft. Basically, this thing was one of the few Cato 14 Souvenir Glock Candy Apples left. And then a guy called Luna came along and decided it'd be way better if he scraped off all the stickers and replaced it with this shit. This was hated in the community when he did it, but it still somehow ended up selling for $3,000 on buff, which is just stupid. Now, it's since ended up in the hands of a good Samaritan who has tried to restore the skin to its previous glory, but at the end of the day, we are judging Luna's version, and when it comes to Luna's version, if you buy this, you're an idiot. Now, the next skin is the Souvenir Pasha Dragon Law. This thing is considered to be the best Souvenir Dragon Law in the game. Its estimated value is about $300,000, although the guy who owns it ain't selling, so it's hard to really test that. And the reason it is so valuable is because of this thing, the Pasha autograph on the scope, a great big autograph on the best possible spot. Stickers are a massive deal when it comes to the value of these things, and a souvenir from a really famous player on the scope is, you know, just perfect, it's exactly what you want, and that makes it an instant A tier for me. Now, next up, we have another Souvenir Dragon Law, and it's from a legendary CSGO match. It's from the NIP vs Cloud9 quarterfinals at Cologne 2014, an amazing piece of CSGO history. But at some point along the way, one of its owners decided to scrape off the stickers and give it four Titan Hollows instead. Now, I hate this thing. I, I hate it when people scrape the stickers off souvenirs. Use an ordinary Dragon Law instead. But Regardless, what he's done has definitely increased the value. In fact, based on a sale earlier this year, this thing could be worth as much as $250,000, although I feel like that is a little bit too high. But either way, I'm going to have to put this in B tier. It is a great skin that I really, really don't like. Now, we've got one more Souvenir Dragon Law left at this point. This one is the best condition Souvenir Dragon Law in existence. It's owned by the mysterious M90 Collector HFB. And for some reason, he decided to scrape all the stickers off this thing, destroying a massive chunk of its value. You are an absolute idiot for doing that. And this thing is going in the appropriate tier. Now, the third last skin is this Stat Track Factory New Karam but Crimson Web. And this thing used to be the absolute king of rare skins. In fact, one of them actually sold for $50,000 some years back. Unfortunately though, since then, Crimson Webs have kind of gone out of fashion. Blue Gems and Dopplers have really stolen the limelight. And nowadays, this skin sells for more like ten dollars to $20,000. It's really fallen from grace. In fact, the main reason I put it on this list is just to humiliate it. It is going in D tier right alongside that McSkillet Huntsman. Now, the second last skin is the Hiko Pattern Crambit Case Harden. This thing is a Stat Track Minimal Wear Knife, and it is currently owned by HFB, so we are probably never seeing it again. But it is still an incredibly legendary skin. It was used or borrowed, I think, more accurately by Hiko during the classic era of Cloud9, well, the, the original one, not the later one or the one after that. But funnily enough, it isn't actually the best Blue Gem Cram you can get. In fact, it's not even close. But what it does have is this legendary name recognition that 
pretty much no other blue gem in the game has. And because of that, I'm gonna have to put it in B tier. Anyway, that brings us to our final skin, the factory new 387 pattern Crambit Case Harden. This thing actually is the best Crambit blue gem in the game and is also literally the holy grail of CSGO skins. This thing is quite literally number one, there is nothing else in the game that matches up to it. And it is owned by an infamous collector who recently turned down an offer of $1.5 million for it. In fact, he called the offer low. Well, who am I to argue of that? He owns the skin and I have no idea if he ever actually plans on selling it, but what is certain is that this thing is the one true S tier on the list. Nothing else is on its level and with that, I think this video is done. I'll leave a link to the tier list in the pinned comment. Thanks to everyone who made suggestions for this list on Twitter too. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Massively appreciate it. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.